Hello, everyone. Uh, nice to see you again. It's, uh, uh, during the last month, is, uh, I have done the uh, ARC insurance uh, case study, uh, the modeling, uh, and we together to do all the views, uh, uh, the uh, work. Uh, that is a, a very nice uh, journey. And from today, is, uh, uh, in the view you can uh, uh, screen, you can see is uh, we are going to move to the another case study from Archimate. Uh, which is the latest uh, version 3.2 is for the Archi Metal. Uh, so I, I think it's that's uh, I hope will be the, another exciting journey for all of us to practice uh, Archi 2 uh, to make uh, those uh, interesting uh, the views. Uh, same as the Archi Assurance, uh, I create our uh, the repository in GitHub. Uh, here is called uh, now it's an Archi Metal practice. Uh, which you can uh, find from the URL here. Uh, and then this uh, through this uh, URL, is, uh, I will uh, keep adding the uh, modeling uh, view by view. Uh, so for today, uh, is uh, one initialization uh, the, uh, the phase. So I want to touch base uh, quickly on these uh, uh, the contents. First is uh, overview for uh, the there is a case study. Uh, the compare uh, why there's a two uh, the case study. Uh, the compare to the Arc insurance. Uh, if you uh, go to the my another the video uh, list, uh, you can feel about this uh, the Arc insurance case study. Their view is uh, very aligned with the uh, the Togaf layers. So they starting from the vision lay uh, the phase. Then business architecture, application architecture, data architecture, then technology architecture, then implementation. So that through that uh, the case study, uh, you have a good uh, the understanding uh, layer by layer, and uh, they also uh, have several views uh, to do the cross layer, uh, the mapping or the modeling. Uh, that is quite different uh, to the Archimetal. So that's also the reason is we do Arc Assurance first, then Archimetal. Uh, so if you uh, go through the uh, Archimetal's uh, case study, uh, the, it is not based on the, uh, the different phase. Uh, but this is quite uh, aligned with uh, our more practical uh, the enterprise architecture. Uh, they, uh, don't care about uh, each phase, uh, uh, the boundary, but they starting from what you as our enterprise architect is uh, to face in your uh, company. So they starting from the challenge for the transformation, then talking about the vision, and then to, you need to build the as is uh, the architecture, then talking about the what are the to be and how to migration to to be. Uh, and then the, through the high-level architecture, then we will build a de uh, detailed uh, architecture. So uh, that is our uh, more uh, the, uh, the practical related uh, the case study. Uh, and then this, uh, uh, when you see the, uh, the view by view, uh, you will also get uh, some uh, the insights is uh, how your uh, modeling tactic uh, can really match to the, your day-to-day -day work. Uh, so to, uh, uh, to give you the quick uh, the, uh, the overview is uh, uh, in the GitHub, uh, the repository, I made one, uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, mind map. Uh, so to list down the view uh, per section, uh, so that uh, you can get is uh, our uh, quick and uh, the idea is uh, we have seven views uh, on this uh, challenging part, uh, talking more from the different aspect of the business uh, architecture. Uh, and then we have uh, one view is uh, to talk about specifically the CRM vision. Uh, and quite a lot uh, diagram we need to do is uh, uh, to uh, make this uh, transformation uh, the describe uh, in uh, different uh, the areas, uh, different uh, viewpoint. Uh, and then there is uh, uh, here is a seven view is so uh, it's coming from those uh, overview uh, the diagram uh, as the root and then we will make the detailed architecture uh, and also there's a five view uh, in the last is uh, talking about uh, uh, this uh, target state scenario uh, 
uh, that also are important in the last is the scenario based uh, architecture. So when we do the uh, the architecture building, we need to know the your audience, your uh, the stakeholder, their pain point, their interest in uh, the uh, the area want to listen. So a scenario is uh, quite uh, the relevant uh, uh, the starting point when you make uh, more uh, the practical uh, the modeling. Uh, so. That is total uh, 32 views. Uh, I will uh, uh, from the next view uh, to uh, next video to do this uh, one by one. So in short, is uh, we may have uh, 32 uh, the following videos uh, uh, after this, uh, and how this uh, will be managed. Uh, the, so you you will uh, come to here, and I will also uh, make the folder uh, per section, and then view. And also every step, I will make our uh, the the R key uh, the model uh, saved. So you will have our snapshot on every step. Uh, so when you do the practice, uh, you can starting from any uh, the view as your uh, the uh, the beginnings. Uh, uh, but my suggestion is uh, follow my pace and let's do this uh, one by one from beginning to the end, then you will have our, uh, uh, quite a full picture for uh, this uh, RP metal, uh, the case study. Uh, and also, this is one of the learning material for you to prepare the Archimate uh, uh, examination uh, for the certificate. So also are a good try. Uh, so highly recommend it is you not uh, only listen, uh, you open your uh, the the tooling tool, uh, then this uh, uh, follow these uh, steps and uh, let's do this uh, all together. Uh, so if you click uh, the here, I put our uh, Git page. So uh, from uh, Git page is the HTML format of this uh, uh, mind map, and then this uh, uh, from here uh, you can uh, click the tree. So then here uh, will be this uh, uh, the list of the uh, views uh, and I will uh, gradually uh, add the URL for uh, every figure uh, after we uh, finish the modeling. Uh, then you have this page to uh, navigate uh, the each uh, figure's uh, the content uh, one by one. Uh, so that is the GitHub structure, uh, and then the, uh, we have the mind map structure as well. Uh, so uh, let's uh, start to uh, to make our uh, the uh, model. So uh, we will use the uh, RK2 still. So uh, if you don't have the RK2, is uh, you can uh, go to the uh, Archimate uh, the URL to download this tool. So uh, they, uh, uh, this will be the uh, the uh, our hands-on tool for for this. Uh, so first is uh, let's uh, initial make a new model uh, and uh, save as. Save to uh, let me find uh, your folders. You can uh, make uh, any of your folder. Uh, I put this uh, Archimato uh, folder uh, as the initial model. Just to put in the root, uh, and here you can rename is the Archimato. Uh, remember, uh, if you uh, watch my uh, Arc Assurance uh, the video, uh, I in the initialization I, I just do the uh, the quick uh, the templates for this uh, default view. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. And uh, uh, but my suggestion is on the, uh, the every view you you should track uh, the owner uh, and also the last updated date uh, so that. Uh, consider you are working uh, with your colleague. Uh, everyone is a collaborate, so it's better to let others know uh, who did the last uh, change on any view. So uh, that is the best uh, the, uh, the behavior of the old uh, practice. So first is uh, let's add our label. Uh, this will be our title. So uh, uh, when this, uh, I can put this is on the label, see the name.
Let's uh, open this one. So I may got this. Uh, let's see this one. What's the label? Yeah, view is uh, here. So you need to follow this uh, expression syntax. So you have the dollar view and then name, uh, and that that is. Uh, uh, Always uh, capture the, your the view's name. Uh, so let's uh, make some uh, the appearance. Make this uh, in the middle, both uh, horizontal and vertical, and uh, don't have the border. And then make that uh, bigger. So let's put that in the twelve and the bold. So that is uh, our uh, the views uh, title title line. Let's uh, close the insurance one. Uh, that is one, and another is uh, let's uh, create another label uh, to have uh, our the updated. So let's see. We we need to uh, track this uh, uh, last updated act. So that is uh, again is the view is we should have our property last uh, updated update. So that is the first line and the last uh, update at uh, by view property last updated. So uh, nothing here, uh, and we uh, we will do this uh, because uh, we need to add the property in our view. So uh, let's say last uh, update. That is one. Let's see this me. You can see here. Then that's uh, will capture. Uh, that is uh, then another property we will build is uh, last uh, updated by. So actually, this should be name. This should be date. So that is uh, the another uh, view. Uh, let me also remove uh, the order. So uh, we will have this as our base. Let's uh, save on that. Uh, on uh, every uh, new view, uh, if there's uh, no need to duplicate from other existing view, uh, we will starting from this uh, default view, then you will have this. So whenever you make any change, uh, uh, keep updating this one. Thank you for watching.